all right welcome back to the channel it is currently five o'clock in the morning and we have a seven hour road trip before fuel stops and food stops and all that we're going to pick up something super cool for our racing program it should help out quite a bit but we got a lot of road conditions to go through uh it's been a really crazy week so far around here but we got seven hours we're going to over by shawano wisconsin there's quite a bit of racing over in that area so most of you around the midwest that know anything about dirt track probably have an idea where that is but uh hopefully you stick along and go for the ride with us we will let you know how it goes once we get down the roadways Why I feel like it rain every day for me You say it gets better but talk is cheap And I don't wanna hear none of the lies that you speak So just stay away from me Why I feel like it rain every day for me You say it gets better but talk is cheap And I don't wanna hear none of the lies that you speak So just stay away from me Yeah, yeah, just stay away Honestly, it would be better for you Cause I got demons inside my brain And they don't go away Trust me, they ain't going nowhere They're setting up camp and they're planning to stay Yeah, they're planning to stay No, they won't go away They're corrupting my brain Alright, little update for you It's been about five and a half hours We are deep into the heart of Wisconsin right now We got uh, a little over an hour and a half to go uh, it's crazy seeing the road conditions differences from back home to here. I mean, we are five and a half hours away, I guess, but it's pretty clear compared to back home. So we will let you know once we get pulling up to the place with the trailer. And I don't know if you look right here, you can see we got a whole bunch of signs for Amish horse and buggy. We've seen about three or four of them so far, but I haven't seen a horse and buggy on the side of the road yet. We don't have that back home, so. <laughs> anyway, we will let you know once we're pulling up to the trailer.
Made a big purchase. Got the hauler for the year. Check it out. Do a little walk around so you can see it. I'm gonna have to pull the stickers off, otherwise people are gonna give me crap for running around with someone else's numbers, but. Step inside a little bit, but. Got some storage up in the front there. Tire racks right here. A little paint on the walls probably wouldn't hurt. But came with toolboxes and some cabinets and a whole workbench up there. Now, for a long drive home, slow and steady. We'll give you a little better walk around, walk through it all, have it plugged in and stuff when we get home. But got a long ways to go before that happens. We'll see you after a little bit. This is our third time filling up since we started heading back. Uh, turns out having a 36 foot gooseneck trailer on the back takes a lot more fuel than driving empty. Who would have guessed? But it is currently 7.33. We're probably not gonna be back until a little after 10 o'clock. So we still got a couple hours to go. Um, just finished fueling up. The trailer's pulling awesome. Uh, just obviously taking more fuel. So uh, we didn't even have to stop for fuel once. We used the fuel that was in it all the way from home and then filled up when we were leaving his place with the trailer. Obviously we were in Wisconsin. So we had to get some cheese curds and a whole bunch of fuel. So, all right, so we're probably gonna have to catch up with you guys tomorrow because it is going to be dark when we get back to the house. So tomorrow we'll do a full walk around, have everything plugged in, show you all the cool stuff that came with it and get your guys' input, see what you think. I already know it's 10 times better, if not more, than what we were using last year and every other year, so wish us luck, but I will probably catch up with you tomorrow morning. All right, well, I'm terrible at this. It's been about a week, but we got the trailer home. It is way cool compared to the old trailer. The old trailer is sitting over there buried in the snowbank. Just a uh, open trailer. It's kind of falling apart. I've had it for quite a while, probably six years. But this one is going to work way better for us. Uh, start off from the outside. So this is the back, obviously. It's got a, a nice light bar right there. A lot of times the races get late and it gets dark. The light bar is gonna help us work on what we're working on to get the car in the trailer and everything put away. It'll light everything up so we can actually see the tools and stuff. I'm sure we'll, you know, always have stuff laying on the ground and whatnot, but uh, I've already put the trailer to use some. I went and picked up a motor I gotta get tore down. And some sheets of tin for doing the body, but it's got a nice tire rack. We're gonna paint all these walls because they're they're not tin in this trailer, they're wood. So 
we're gonna paint all that but it came with uh, air hose and it's got air lines ran all the way to the front where there's an air compressor and a generator you got a fire extinguisher some um, I don't know hooks for hooking like extension cords or hoses or whatever you know, whiteboard the tire rack the floor is all got a like a coating on it so it's got a little more grip came with a winch but I think I'm gonna take my winch off of my other trailer because it's I mean pretty new but uh, the toolboxes came with it this one's a little smashed up but I think we're gonna take that one off of there and put a mini fridge where that's sitting. Um, also, we might have to move this tire rack over here so we have room to get the Ranger in front of the race car. But it's got the cabinets that came with it on both sides of there. Another air fitting up here in case we're working on the bench. The bench has a lip so stuff doesn't go flying off of it when you're going down the road. A uh, light over top of the bench. Uh, this is pretty cool. I might have to take this out though so we can put the Ranger, but the guy put a cabinet up here for putting fuel jugs and stuff in. And then it's also got some more cubbies right here for storage. Some hooks for fire suit or whatever else. There's some hooks over here too. Um, there's a bunch of storage up here. This might get taken out and uh, we might put some cots or some beds or something in there. And then it has the vent in the ceiling right here. I'm hoping that the air conditioning unit off of our camper over there will fit in that hole if not i'm gonna make it fit somehow and then we're gonna put the air conditioner in here that's also a heater and then we might end up getting rid of the camper maybe tearing it down and turning it into a permanent ice shack not really sure yet but we're gonna take the mini fridge out of there and the air conditioner out of there for sure and put them in here and then we won't even need to use the camper if we go to a big race or you know the end of the year you know two three four day shows so super pumped though i've been really looking forward to getting an enclosed trailer for quite a while i had one my second and third year i raced but it was kind of a junker trailer this one needs some work but it ain't super terrible uh, under here there's a generator and a air compressor that's built into the trailer so give you one more look obviously like I said earlier in the other videos um, I'm gonna take the stickers off and get our own stickers put on there there's one on the back door too but both sides of the back of the trailer this is a 36 foot gooseneck it's got 28 foot floor and eight foot at the top part up there so that's eight foot in there and it's a v-nose uh, i suppose that helps with you know driving down the road get a little better fuel mileage but it also helps with i don't have a long box so i'm not gonna hit like if, I, if it wasn't a V-nose, I would have to be careful so the front of the trailer didn't hit my cab on my pickup. But I don't have to worry about that with this one. So I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. It's kind of a boring video. Things are, might get a little, I don't know, might get a little better. I'm going to start working on the car. But I'm really looking forward to race season. We're going to have a lot going on. I'm going to try to be posting twice a week during race season. I'm going to do one in the garage, getting the car ready and then a track log um depending we might end up racing you know two or three nights a week so if we do 
then I'll probably be posting all three as separate videos. So some weeks there might be three, four videos and some weeks there might be two videos. Obviously, if we get rained out at the races, we're going to try to do something different, maybe go fishing or something. But as of right now, that's the plan is to do at least two videos throughout the summer maybe three or four depending how much we race but like i said appreciate you guys tuning in tagging along with us uh like comment subscribe and try to share the video we're trying to get a little bigger get some more subscribers and whatnot so appreciate you guys have a good one